Okay, how to run a big PB for 5K or park run within eight weeks. I'm gonna walk you through week by week exactly what I would do for those eight weeks leading up to running a big PB for 5K. And for this example, and you can equate these times to yours just using the percentages, I'm gonna work with somebody who's currently got a PB of 25 minutes and who wants to knock 20% off that and run five minutes faster and run sub 20 minutes for 5K. That's a big improvement. So we've got to ask ourselves these three main questions or four questions. How long have you been running? How long, if at all, have you been following a structured training plan, including intervals and faster running? And what's your sports background? And by answering those three questions honestly and thinking about our recent history, it should give us an idea of how realistic a 20% improvement is to us if we're currently running 25 minutes for 5K and we want to go five minutes quicker. Now that means we're gonna run each kilometer for that sub 20 minute 5K, we're gonna run each kilometer in four minutes per kilometer. So here's the question or the twist. I know you can run 25 minutes for 5K, but how fast can you run just one kilometer alone? Let's say for this example, if you go all out and run a kilometer, you can do that in four minutes per kilometer. So week one, I want you to run six times a kilometer on the midweek Wednesday interval session. And I want you to run those Control the pace at four minutes 30 per kilometer. If you can run 5K in 25 minutes, and if you can run 1K in four minute, this should be relatively comfortable. If you're new to speed and you're new to structure, pacing and that pace might be quite difficult for you. Again, it depends on your start point. I'm not gonna labor this point on every week, but think about control and think about pacing. Week two. We're still gonna run 5,000 meters of total volume of fast work on the Wednesday, but we're gonna run 250 meter reps. So that's 20 times 250 meters with just 60 seconds rest in between. And we're going to aim to run those in four minutes per kilometer. Now, if we, again, if we can run four minutes for a kilometer and we can run 25 minutes for 5K, this should be pretty comfortable. Where it's gonna get hard is the focus to follow 20 reps. And in the second half, from 10 to 15 reps and 15 to 20 reps, it's going to be more difficult to hold pace, and that's pacing. So they should be 20 times a minute, or 20 times 250 meters at four minutes per kilometer pace. Week three. Now, we're gonna go back to 6,000 meters total volume, and we're only gonna run four reps, but they're gonna be 1,500 meter reps, or 1.5K. I'm gonna do four times 1.5K with 60 seconds rest. I'm gonna try and hold week one pace, which was four minutes 30 per kilometer. So it's more distance per rep, but it's the same total volume and there's only four reps. Psychologically, that may be more difficult for you or more easy. For some people, it's very difficult to get their head around 20 times 250 meters and stay focused throughout. For some people, it's more difficult to do something like three times 10 minutes, where they're longer reps and you've got to hold pace throughout and there's only three of them to get right. Week four, I want you to keep 20 reps as the number of reps that you're gonna do. But we're gonna increase the rep just from 250 meters to 300 meters. That means you're gonna do 6,000 meters total volume, which you're quite used to at this point, but we're going to try to hold that four minute pace. And if we can take a little bit off that, run 355, 350, or four minute pace, it's going to make the end goal much easier. But it's all about focus, it's about control, and it's about literally telling yourself, I've got another 20 times 250 meters, but there's an extra 50 meters on each one of these reps. Very, very powerful if you can make this much progress within four to five weeks. Week five, we're going to do exactly the same session as week one, six times a kilometer, but the training started to have an effect by now, especially if you're new to speeding, you're new to structure. So we're gonna be aiming at 4.15 per kilometer. And this is gonna be quite tough, especially reps four, five, six. So what I want you to do is focus on digging in and focus on holding pace in the middle part and holding pace for the end. That's gonna make us a better 5K runner. Remember, that we're working with a total volume usually in these interval sessions of 6,000 meters, which is more than what we're gonna run on the final time trial or in the final 5K race. Now remember to dig in because this will not be easy. And if it is easy to run 415 per kilometer, great, but try to up the pace slightly. But remember, consistency is key. Week six, 
faster reps again. I want you to do 10 times 400 meters and 10 times 200 meters, each 60 seconds rest in between. And I want you to focus on running the 400 meters at 350 per kilometer. But if you can run them at 350 to four minutes, great. What I then want you to focus on is when you're doing the 200 meters afterwards, so you do one to 10, 400 meters, and you go immediately on after 60 seconds rest, one to 10, 200 meters. What I want you to focus on is that changing gears and going faster for those 200 meters. So I really want you to focus again on control, but working faster than 350 per kilometer. So you're changing gears up, you're going faster for those 200 meter reps. So focus on being as comfortable as possible during those 400 meter reps, and then changing up and going faster in those 200 meter reps, really important. What's that gonna tell us so far? So it's gonna tell us after six weeks, that we've really learned how to pace and we've learned pacing and we've learned to add pace or add speed. And all of a sudden we've got these extra gears to go after in the rest of our running. Really, really important. What we've also built is a level of confidence that we've ticked off the weeks. We've added lots of consistency into our running. And we've added structure. Often, more often than not, a lot of people that are listening to this will have added structure for the first time. And that will add confidence that you actually can do it and you can run faster, you can run a kilometer faster than you previously could before. And you're actually quite comfortable now you've become efficient at moving fast over the ground. Week seven, 6,000 meters total volume again, but you're just gonna do three reps. You're gonna do three times two kilometers with 60 seconds rest in between. Now these will be tough, but you're tough and so, Focus on these longer reps. Essentially, it's gonna be three times eight minutes, but we're aiming for four minutes or 350 per kilometer. If you can run these at 350, you're in a great position to run sub 20 in just a few weeks time. Focus on really digging in and focusing. Often people will ask you, what do you think about when you're running? If you're just going out there for a recovery run or an easy run, it's almost meditative. You're often not thinking about anything. But when you're out there doing an interval session, a faster session, it's like being in a race. You've constantly got to focus because you don't want to drop pace. You want to hold pace. You want to get the absolute most out of the session. Now, week eight, I want you to do 15 times 500 meters. So we're going to up the volume. You're going to do more volume, but the rep length is manageable. The rep length is only 500 meters. So there's 15 reps, they're only 500 meters. And I want you to focus on control here, but controlled speed. So watching the heart rate go up, trying to recover as much as you can during 60 seconds rest. For these, I would be aiming at 345 to 350 per kilometer. If you can do that and you can hold it for the total volume, which is 7,500 meters, you should have a lot of confidence to be able to go and run a sub 20 minute 5K. Now, I purposely haven't mentioned the other sessions, whether it's strength sessions, easier runs, the rest of the schedule. But from here, I'd want to give myself about 10 days to freshen up the legs so I could really hit the 5K as hard as I can and really, really go for it. And that 10 days would be reduced volume, but keeping the intensity the same. So I'd have a, a shorter interval session and still do the rest of the sessions just as you do. For the race itself or the time trial, really need to dig in. We need to start strong, really dig in in the middle and then go for it in the final couple of kilometers. And if this only means a 10 or 20% improvement, if you hit target and get 20%, fantastic. You've put together and executed a project. It's really good. If you just get 10% forward, 10% forward in just under 10 weeks, it's, it's mega because that opens psychological doors as to what is possible in the future. Now, if you enjoyed that and you want to get faster at the 5K, you can follow this 12 week guide here. And if you want to look at how my training evolved from doing 425 for the marathon to running 221 for the marathon, how the training evolved, watch this video here. Mm -hmm.